There's fairly light entertainment all the way tomorrow night on BBC One, apart from Crime Watch UK, which includes a warning about the alarming increase in crimes against the elderly at 9.30. And there's the regular update at 11.30. For the rest, it's Top of the Pops at 7, including Aha and the House Martins, with the EastEnders to follow at 7.30. Tomorrow's World presents a Christmas quiz at 8 with a number of mystery guest celebrities. And at 8.30, it's sporting celebrities put to the test in A Question of Sport. After the 9 o'clock news and Crime Watch UK, Paul Nicholas and Jan Francis are still just good friends, in spite of problems in the Pinner household at 10 past 10. Matt Houston also faces problems when CJ suffers amnesia after a car crash and ends up in a women's prison used as a front for a high-class bordello. That's at 10.40. And finally, at 11.40, together again for the first time in Rhoda. Now, look at the weather. After a wet and windy evening, the clearer weather, already into most parts, will reach remaining areas of England fairly soon, although the Channel Islands will have further rain through the night. Icy roads are likely in central and eastern Scotland, where winds fall light. Another belt of rain will spread across southern parts of England and Wales in the morning, followed later by brighter, showery weather. Over the rest of the country, it will be a showery day with the likelihood of longer periods of rain or snow in the afternoon, especially over Scotland. It will be mild for a time in the south, but the colder conditions over the rest of the country will follow as the day goes on. By day, you're in full view. But at night, drivers may not see you. You can be just a shadow, even in the centre of town. So make sure you're clearly seen on the streets after dark. Wear something light. Or carry anything that's white. Drivers see you best if you wear something reflective. So please, be safe at night. Be seen. Be bright. That was a public information film. Well, now the time is just approaching nine minutes before midnight as our evening on BBC One comes to a close. It only remains for me, Peter Bolgar, on behalf of all of us here, to wish you a very good night. <laughs>